I think that the image quality is in the eye of the beholder. You have to see it. I mean, it's difficult to put in words. Um, it's for us, and there, it was a surprise even for me when we put this into action, finding cases that I did not expect to see on a PET CT. So from oncology perspective, the biggest bang for the buck is the quality of the image. Um, for cardiology, the biggest bang for the buck is the reduction of the dose. And for neuro-oncology, and um, mostly for neuro-oncology, it's also the image quality. The other thing I think is important is that the technology comes ready. If we want to put a gold standard of what you would expect in from new device or new technology, and we put it, let's say it's an iPhone, you want to have it ready out of the box, and after a few hours, you want to be able to implement it and use it for, your, for, for yourself, right? In this situation, for medical device, you want to use it for your patients. So in our scenario, when we're placing the old system and putting a new system, we want it to be ready within days after we get it into action. And this system provides tools that you can be ready in a week or so, uh, the system was in being tested and validated by Philips for over three years. It's a, it's a big change. Um, so it really comes ready. Detectability of the small lesions um, does matter. Microscopic disease, the detection of the microscopic spread of the disease could make a significant decision treatment uh, difference. Small lesion detectability is significantly improved with digital PET. I have multiple examples when we identified disease that was microscopic and changed patient's uh, treatment regimen. We had few cases where we didn't expect to see the disease. Um, the case I recall is a case from, of anal cancer when the patient was being evaluated for um, APR, anterior perineal resection, um, and decision was, we're trying to make a decision whether that patient needed neoadjuvant radiation therapy. Um, and we identified disease outside of the plant image port and outside of the circumferential resection margin. And that changed the decision entirely. The patient was stratified into neoadjuvant radiation chemotherapy. Patients with uh, brain lymphoma, uh, the treatment goal is complete resolution of the disease. In this very case, um, the recurrence was in a deep white matter. It's an easy area to identify on a PET CT. There should be nothing lighting up in the, in the deep white matter. It was very difficult to assess this area on the MRI because of all the post-radiation changes. So this is exactly where PET-CT with digital PET can identify this microscopic disease that is still there and thus change the treatment. Digital PET technology, I think, will open a new avenue for us um, with uh, neuro-oncology imaging. I think the impact actually goes beyond, as we know medicine today, as we've, we've already known that with some cancers, that maybe microscopic disease, it's not necessarily what matters. Why, for some cancers, it does matter. I think we will be rewriting the books and looking and, and seeing what does matter for what cancer if we see it.